All right, we're back. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the firmware. Went to the Hutu website, downloaded the latest firmware for the Titan. Then we're going to go back to the TripMate, go to System Settings, then Firmware Upgrade. Find the firmware on your computer, browse. So before you do anything like that, before you even hit this Firmware Upgrade button, you need to attach some sort of external storage. Per the uh, TripMate router frequently asked questions right here, attach a USB storage device. So, because the RAM is so limited that they can't even upgrade it without that. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, how often do I have to upgrade the firmware, you know? So, we'll go ahead and see if this works. Last time when I hit that button, it would just straight up say there's no way it can work. It said limited storage warning. So, file format. I wasn't sure if I had to extract the file that I downloaded, so I've already done that. We'll go ahead and get that, too. All right, so you have to extract it. Try that again. Let's see if we get another warning. All right, so it's going to take five minutes to upgrade. So I'm going to pause this, and we'll be right back after that upgrade. So it looks like just finished. We now have a blue light. I'm not connected to the network anymore, I don't think. So I'll go ahead and connect to it. It's reset all the settings it looked like because it's not the, the name that I configured it to be. So we'll go ahead and type, I guess, eight ones. All right, I'm connected. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the just IP address. Remember I didn't set a password. Go to settings, network settings, go to internet. All right, I'm going to have to set this back up after the firmware upgrade. I'll find Yolanda. Yeah, I got to put a password and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off the screen. We'll see what happens. Still blue. Oh, it's green. Cool. So maybe the firmware actually helped. So let's see if we have internet. Yep. We'll do another speed test. So far, this was the original. This was with the original firmware. Let's see what we got. Looks to be about the same. Okay. So it looks like you lose, you know, roughly 35% of the bandwidth. But we got it working. Pretty cool. That was pretty easy. Just did the little firmware upgrade. And it did connect faster this time. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, please rate and subscribe. And I'm going to have a little affiliate link for this in the description. Thank you very much.